the Joe Rogan experience. A big uh, step forward, a big improvement was the hypnosis. The whole process of hypnosis is a sort of a deep relaxation at the same time you're confronting this, these memories. That helped a lot. The problem that people have with some hypnosis sessions is that you can be led into false memories. True. And I think that does happen. I think, you know, having been at many, many uh, UFO gatherings, I think some people are mistaken about their experience. Um, I believe, and this is just my personal opinion, I understand, I, I, I try to stick strictly to what I experienced and then my own musings, my own philosophy that I've had 45 years to develop, uh, I, I think that probably some people do have extremely unique uh, dreams that seem so real that uh, the actual physical event didn't happen. And mm. I've, I've tried to argue with people about how um, evil their intentions would be, you know. And I'm saying... Uh, you know, the decades that we've been having these sightings, if they, with that sort of technology, if they wanted to uh, replace us on this planet, we'd never know what hit us. No. I, I don't think that. And I, actually, I think they're so advanced that if they're sightings, it's not an accident. It's not like they slap their forehead. Ah, oh, human spotted me again. I have to be more careful next time, you know. Mm. No, I, I think they'd be perfectly capable of being undetected. We never have any. I think these little glimpses are probably... Uh, a generalized a customization that we might need as a species, but maybe on the other hand, there's some more individual interest. And I used to be really skeptical. I'd hear stories where people were describing them as having some particular interest in them, and I'd think, I'd tell them, you know, <laughs> that'd be like them walking by an ant hill and saying, oh, I think I'll have a conversation with that little ant right there. Right. Uh, uh, humans are a bunch of savages, but at the same time, I, I believe they probably do have. If you saw one when you were eight years old and you see one as an adult, uh, they know it's you. Mm. Their ability to process data and retain it and store it is beyond anything we can imagine. I think we're on the verge of that kind of uh, paradigm shift with uh, something I would call the... Uh, computer brain interface mm -hmm. the minute we can do that kind of thing uh it's uh kind of scary about the possibilities but uh, i've been at conferences where people talk about these uh, beings as being predatory or evil uh one guy was trying to tell me that they capture people dissect them and dump their body and i said oh okay name one and he goes, well, so-and-so. And I go, no, no, not the guy who puts this theory out there. Who's the victim who was found cut to pieces? And then he, I said, so name one. And he gives me another name. It was still somebody who's promoting this theory. Uh, and he, he just didn't get it. I said, who's, what's the name yeah. of the victim? And he, he couldn't come up with one. So I'm, I'm skeptical about that. Well, anytime there's a fantastic subject, whether it's... UFOs or psychics or Bigfoot or you, you find these people that just want to believe you know and it's uh, very disheartening there's something about that like it's hard to separate truth from fantasy That's with true. a lot of these folks and, and I, think, I think there's a lot of fantasy and delusion going on yeah. and uh, I have encountered other people that I do have uh, uh, do believe had legitimate experiences and experiences but uh, um I wouldn't consider them in the majority, and I, that's an unpopular view. But uh. no, I, I share that view. Uh, you know, I'm not completely skeptical, but I'm skeptical enough. I, I just, I also know that it's in, it's, it's an aspect of human nature where people want to tell stories that make them unique, without actually having to have done anything special in their life. They want to be special, and some people tell stories that make them out to be very special because they've been chosen to have this unique experience with an extraterrestrial. You haven't, they have, and it, it, it makes them, it, it satisfies these delusions of grandeur that some yeah. and I, I, I personally try to downplay that aspect of it. I say, 
I really favor the idea that this was an accident. It was precipitated by my foolish move of getting too close. I believe they probably just took me aboard in order to correct damage that uh, they were a uh, part of that uh, uh, was even unexpected for them. So did you have physical damage that you could see? Uh, no, but uh, one thing that leads me to think that all of the repairs they might have done weren't complete was my initial uh, EEG brainwave scan. And this was done at the same hospital where Muhammad Ali did his. And it was very, uh, what do you call uh, Irregular? Uh, what's the term? Uh, um, double blind. Uh, Dr. Candell did not tell the technician what I was in there for. Mm -hmm. And so he wasn't looking for some particular thing that would support or deny my experience. So he just uh, described an unusual pattern uh, in the brain that in another brainwave scan years later wasn't there anymore. So, uh, What was this unusual pattern? Uh, I'm trying to think of the exact wording. It was a bisynchronous wave alternating from front to back. Uh, I remember those words, but I have uh, the report for both from both EEGs. So I've been uh, interested in finding someone who might have uh, been hit by lightning or, uh, you know, some electrician that raised up against a wire and had a, a huge amount of energy come through the brain and, and see if an EEG compares to this weird pattern that they're describing there. But uh, uh, there's a lot of speculation opened, and I, of course, have done trying to figure out why, what uh, happened there. And there's uh, some amazing uh, things that uh, sometimes, you know, I try to stick to the stuff I can document, stuff that uh, where I have other witnesses uh, and that, you know, documentable. That's, mm. that's what I uh, go for. And I, I have this information concerning the EEG, documents of it, you know. Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.